Love the so lesson. welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom, Brian, and Steve, and this is from the sidelines. And as we do it every time this week, we're going to talk about the round of NRL that's just been played. But someone's a tad late. How come he doesn't do this when you're late? <sighs> I'm special. Do what? Brian, the show started. You ready? Carry on like a pork chop. <laughs> yeah, you know, it in. No, my wife got it for me. Surprise. Nice. Hey, surprise! State of Origin Eve. And I went, oh, that's that's lovely. <laughs> Where's the sleeves? <laughs> That's right. Where are the sleeves? Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, dear. Yes, gentlemen, how are we tonight? Yeah, good. Are you going well, to start the show? I've already started oh, the show. Started. Like, Look see, at the screen. Not... We're on. Yeah, it's, it's a shocker, isn't it? it? It's, it's, on. it's recording. Oh, it's on. We're forty-five seconds into it. <laughs> I haven't started yet. Can't make a cup of tea. Can't make a cup of tea. Uh, no, I don't. Because <laughs> because the good stuff's about to start. Ooh, I'll give you good stuff in a minute. Goodness gracious me. Mm. How's your week? Busy. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Tom? Yeah, no, I had, a, I had a relaxing weekend for the first time in a couple of months. Oh, excellent. And it's been nearly a week since State of Origin. It has. So I figure we're going to start talking about that and get our, get our, our, our emotions out and then start talking about the round we had just last week. Origin. How about that? Here we go. Unless you want to go highlight, what would be a highlight of the weekend? Not Origin. <laughs> no, not Origin. Two points. Guaranteed two points. Guaranteed two points. First by. Uh, needed it. Are you ready now? Yeah, I'm ready now. Okay, cool. So, Origin, let's start with that. Mm. What were your thoughts? What's, uh, Teddy Good. proved why he should never be picked in State of Origin. Teddy? Yeah. Well, Teddy wasn't the problem in State of Origin. No. Yeah. He was part of it. No, so so, so Ali <laughs> trying to take Reese Walsh's head off was the problem. Well, and, then, and then Teddy Teddy not understanding that you just can't just throw the ball over the sideline. Three or four times. Yeah. yeah uh, made, that, I, I, a couple I, of blunders. I, I must admit, I, I forgot about how he does that at State of Origin time. Runs the ball and then throws it over the sideline. Well, oh. c- certainly he practices those plays... Ad, ad nauseum with the roosters and, yeah. and, yes. and gets them get some right most of the time. Yeah, with um, the roosters. That's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, point yeah, there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why sure. which is why he should not be picked for game two. Well I don't know if he will be. I think since when um, Edwards was the incumbent, he deserves to get his get his spot. Get his shot, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about the first seven minutes. Before <laughs> Joseph Suwali. Before Joseph Suwali. What did you think? We, I mean... Oh, I thought, I thought, geez, the Queensland forwards were rolling in yeah, that first were, seven minutes. They were already, <laughs> weren't they? And, and the try they scored was, uh, would you say, against the runner play? They got a, they got a penalty mm. and they took their opportunity with two hands. Um, yeah. And they looked dangerous even then. Um, and then, then when Suwali went off, it was just going to be an uphill battle um yeah despite that though i actually thought that the um the the blues were pretty pretty courageous for a lot of the game oh they and, were until the end and they were they're in they're, in, they're on top uh without scoring any points they're on top for a good period of time yeah. in the second half yeah um, yeah no I, I don't disagree with it yeah. um send off or no send off send off or sin bin i think it was a bin i've made that very clear you have yep tom Oh, look, uh, I'd like to believe that um, uh, that Reese Walsh was falling and it was not Sawali's intent to take his head off, that he was actually going to... It was going to be a ball and all tackle, I think. Yeah. Um, and he never got a chance to do it. Um, so, but, you know, on the field, I guess they felt like they had to be doing the right thing and um, and he was knocked out. So, um, you know... I mean, I, okay. Sinbin I, I could, seemed to be the most reasonable thing, but I, I, I wish it had been because I think it ruined the game. It, it did. I, I mean, let's face it. Reese Walsh was falling. Absolutely yeah. no doubt. There were photos to prove that yeah. he lost his feet before he got hit. Yeah. Secondly, I don't think Suwali went to hit him in the head no, intentionally. No. No. So, and okay. Suwali, see, the, the point I made was Reese Walsh was slipping, Suwali was bent. So while his arm was to his out, like he wasn't yes. hitting him with his shoulder, his oh, arm was. He, he's still his, his he arm, was leaning, he was but his arm was out. Like it wasn't like a yeah, traditional yeah. shoulder no, no, charge. No, it wasn't a shoulder in. charge. No, and he did lean, and, lean and, him and, with his and let's face it, in real time, it was what a fraction of a second. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh look, I, I think it was uh, just unfortunate, but 
I, I want to make a point about all these people saying they targeted Reese Walsh. <sighs> For, for 108 years in rugby league, you've been targeting the best players, yeah. unlike the 70s and 80s, to take them out. Not yeah. really to take them out, yeah. but to stop nullify. them passing to, the to ball, put, to nullify that's them. That's right, whatever. to put as much pressure but as you can on them. The word has always been, you know, to target them. But now all of a sudden, when yep. it's mentioned you're going to target Rhys Walsh, the Queenslanders are jumping on this and saying, oh, you mean take his head off. Well, no, that's not what is ever yeah. meant by target. And no. Michael Maguire and none of the team in New South Wales would ever have looked at doing that. No. no. So to say, oh, they went to target him was only to stop him to yeah, nullify exactly. his play, not to take his head. Agreed. So I just want to clear that up because there's a lot of angst at the moment about that word target. What do you think about Nate Miles? Oh, I'd so pull his head in. It was Nate Miles. Nate Miles is a child. Yeah, but he, he doesn't he doesn't get to say that. He, he, no, he's a child. Time it, is it, finished. It, it, was a, it was a stupid childish thing to do. Mm. It was. It was. Oh, there you go. Called but, it out. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right it's spoilt the game though now yeah. it has been suggested that we should have a uh, here we go we should have a player replaced in a send off situation so maybe 20 minutes out of the game but you can replace him with an 18th man or a 19th mm, man if you choose it? well I, I actually don't think it's a bad idea because 20 minutes out and then you bring someone else in it wouldn't have spoiled the game as much yeah, as like a did. game a game like this or a grand final I think you know, one team if, if one, for one silly act, yes. uh, or, or unfortunate know, act, unfortunate in some cases, yes. Then, then one team is completely disadvantaged for the rest of the game. And you know, it was seventy three minutes. Yeah, you know, I was like the whole game basically. Mind you, it shouldn't have been that big a score. They should they should have performed better in the other seventy three minutes. Well, you look what happened yeah. down that um, down that down the, the New South Wales right. Right defensive side. Yeah, they picked holes, holes what? in it, and, and, it's and part of it was because, as you'd said on the text, is that why didn't Stephen Crichton get put there earlier? Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, Nico Hines was that defending in the, in, in the centres. Yeah, well, down that side with, well, with Liam Martin. As soon as Crichton went there, no more breaks. Yes, yes I know. Right. But, but then you weaken the other side anyway. So well, they didn't you know. really, did they? Mm. Well, the, pro- the problem was it was after Queensland. It's got, I thought yeah. Madge's coaching was the difference. It was atrocious. Well, I thought his interchange was average, and I thought that that decision to leave uh, Hines out in the centres when it was cl- clearly they were going to target that side mm-hmm. was was just frustrating. Maybe right. just his inexperience. What in changes it. do you make for next week, next game? I think Luttrell should be coming in. Honestly, okay. Well, let me ask this I question first, Burns Tom. Wholesale changes or minor changes? Yeah, look, uh, honestly, I thought that the um, Lua was okay, but I, I thought Hines was out of his depth. Um, I think Moses has shown enough. I mean, he was a little, he had a bit of a downtime last uh, last night, but I think he's shown enough with his kicking game to say he should be there. No. And either him and Luai or him and Burton, but I think Burton could be off the bench because yep. he can fill in centres. He can play pretty much any position. Burton, so I'd be I'd be bringing bringing Burton in. I'd be bringing Latrell in, and I'd probably drop Hines for um, Moses at least. So you'd just be making minor changes. Not oh, and, and look, Cam Murray's Cam Murray's back, so that, that's that's a that's a difficult one. Where do you put him? Um, oh, you, I'd find a place easy for him. Well, because you got he's completely. Liam Martin will be out, so he just replace Liam oh, Martin. Okay, well that, that that's fine. If he if he plays on the edge, that's okay. Brian, wholesale changes or minor changes? Uh, I think Dylan Edwards comes in. Yeah, I miss. I forgot to learn. Um, I would. Uh, I still wouldn't go with Latrell. I'd go uh, Bradman Best if he's back, and if he's not, Jesse Ramian. And yeah, with Martin out, I'd bring in um, Cam Murray. Cam Murray. Cam Murray. That's it. So Payne you Hass. You wouldn't replace Ka- Payne Hass. Why? Why would you replace Payne Hass? Because I think he had a very average game. They all because they had to defend their backsides off, and their best defender was sitting on the bench for seventy minutes. Stupid. Here, here, we, here. We'll, we'll give you the captaincy, Jake. We know you'll, you'll make, uh, you know, a thousand tackles if you need to, and you know, tackle till you die. Mm. Twenty minutes, twenty-eight tackles. Oh, well, we'll take you off now. We won't put you back onto the last five minutes. That was, yeah. That was a stupid. It was embarrassing for a captain. It was embarrassing the for the. It was embarrassing for. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay. Right. I, I just think they had to tackle themselves Why to a standstill. What, what's your problem with the trail? What, my problem with the trail. Is that uh, he wants to play fullback? Let him play fullback. Origin, he doesn't. Let him play fullback. I don't care. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm over Latrell. I'm over. I don't, I don't. You know what? 
I'll, I'll say this. Let me say this about Latrell. All right? Because we're we'll just getting angry out now, aren't I? <laughs> you are, you are. All right? Fully respect. He's got every right to say whatever he says and does. Yep. I hate the way he plays football. I don't want him on my team. Okay. Uh, let's go to Wynn Stadium on Friday night. Okay. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Wynn Stadium Friday night with St. George 56 beat the Tigers 14 after the Tigers led 14-12 at half time. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, he's right. Mm. Coach said. <laughs> coach said he'll discipline. Yeah, and he's right. Yeah, he's right. Um, and they got they got a bin. He said they're getting a bin just about every week. Um, I don't don't know what was going on with the Dragons in the first ten minutes, but they played the next you know seventy minutes brilliantly. Yeah, um, taking their opportunities. I mean, they're playing the Tigers who are under form. They're at, you know out of form, but um, they took all their opportunities and you know. Uh, Zach Lomax coming back from a brilliant origin game was brilliant against scored 32 points I think it was yep um, so it was the Dragons 30 oh so Zach Lomax 32 the Tigers 14 yeah. didn't need the rest yeah. of the team yeah that's it there's that's nothing it. more to say about that no it was Tom said it all thank you Tom it was, it was very disappointing and I, I gotta say Dragons were very very good but Tigers offered little Yep. Uh, let's go to Saturday night where the South Sydney Rabbit has 46 marched up the tables <laughs> to beat the Titans 12. No, no, I, I was going to say, hey, if you did the first game, well, let's do, do this one, but we can't. <laughs> marched up the table. <laughs> that screwing up. I told you last week, this is it. This is where we start the run to the semis. And anyway. I thought Joel had a couple of another stupid things that he, that he did, as he usually does, like picking people up and bouncing them on the ground. Why did he do that? Yeah, oh, he did that with somebody. Yep. Um, oh, no, you're but, dreaming about but that. But the rest of his game, I thought, was, was excellent. He looked fit. Um, it, like, when he picked up that ball from whoever was who made the line break, um, he looked fit. Yes. He looked... He, he looked, made a couple of really good tries over yep. tackles. Yeah, yeah, he did. So, I, I think that was one of the best best performances I've seen in a Rabbitohs jersey, really. Um, so, he didn't do any origin claims any harm. No, not at all. But the whole There's team, no I think... I, I liked the combination of, of Cody and Jack Whiten mm-hmm. in the spine. I thought that that was good. Um, Arrows we, had a we, good season. Arrows had a very good season. South lacked speed in the back line because Richie Kenner and Tane <laughs> Milne are just being... Oh. Kenner was getting schooled and was just in the right spot at the right time, time to score. <laughs> he was getting schooled. Yeah. Brian Kelly was tailing him up. Yeah, yeah. Brian and, Kelly's and a good player. We, until we get a few of our better players back, that's going to be the problem with South. It's, it's just not going to go well. <laughs> what did you think of Cody and um, David Fafita's little tussles? That was a bit of fun. Oh yeah, yeah. they kissed their mate up at the end. Yeah, yeah. It was it was no. nice to see actually. I, I think it was a nice nice challenge, and he sat Cody on his backside a few times. All right, let's go to the Warriors forty two, North Queensland twelve. Well, Warriors have come back. Geez, that. Uh... The the Dallin and Chan side of the field is uh, carving it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the Warriors are back to to as they were earlier in the season, mm-hmm. where yes. where they just competing on every play. Yeah. Every play they compete, and that um that run through by Dallin where he's flipped it back over his head, and I saw it, and I and I know that uh, on one of our one of our rival um, shows. Um, they showed. A f- do you watch the rivals? Do you? I have to watch the rivals. Uh, they showed a few plays like that with you know the Greg Inglis over the back yeah, and you know yeah. Jamie Lyon back to Michael Robinson. A few of those, yeah. and uh, that was up there with it. That was yeah. sensational. Yeah, he was, back to he was yeah. centimeters, it was millimeters from but the line. They're doing it. They're doing it without uh, without Sean Johnson, mm-hmm. and they're doing it without Roger, and they're looking good. Yep. Yeah, they yep. are looking good. Yeah, and yeah, what can we say about the cows? A team that's running near last with eight Origin players and they were, half of them pull out, they were never well, in that game. Well, you said the Warriors have reverted back to what they were doing earlier in the season and so had the Cows. Mm. Except they were the opposite. You know, they, they've gone back to where they were at the beginning and they're just, they're just not competing. And I don't know... I don't know that they've got, they're going to go in much further. I, think, I mean, there's four or five teams that I think are already... You could write them off. Yeah, the they're middle of the bottom eight now. I don't think they'll get much further than that. Uh, Cronulla Sharks 22, Broncos 12. This was surprising. Yep, and all the Queensland teams lost, so that made me very happy. <laughs> Except for the really important one at State of Origin. <laughs> I know, but it's just this time of the year. Just make them lose. 
Mm. Uh, the Sharks were very impressive. Uh, without without uh, okay. Nico in the team, uh, <clears throat> I actually didn't give them much of a chance. No, no neither did I. Uh, the, the Broncos have got an amazing depth and uh, the Sharks just kept going. <laughs> they, they kept niggling at them. They, they, they found a weakness and just, you know, wormed their way through and yeah, I thought they were great. I wonder if the Broncos just believe their hype sometimes, I think. You yeah, know, it'd be nice, uh, wouldn't it? <laughs> people like Carrigan, no. Car- Carrigan, Haas, I think, they're solid. Um, but players like Mam and uh, the, the Flashy and Bruce Walsh, I mean, he wasn't there. But, but I think they sometimes just get hyped up yeah. and, um, and, and, and don't focus as well as they should. And, yeah, more power to them. <laughs> Keep doing it. Yeah. Um, Keep falling over. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm I was surprised um, how I thought the Broncos would have offered a lot more. Yeah, than exactly. What they did. They had so many points in them generally. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's but not they, all... but they were dropping a lot of. But they were just yeah. it just seems like a whole a clumsy effort. Braden Trindle had one of his best games, I think. He was yeah, very creative. Um, and look, Cam McGuinness. I mean, you know, it, it's been spoken about what a warrior he is. I mean, he just. <laughs> hit up after hit up. He just, he just yep. keeps yeah. it. Yeah, he, he is exceptional, I've got to say. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne Storm 36, Newcastle Knights 28. Oh, I thought the Knights had this. I, they were coming back for just it. Just before half time, they had it. It was in the bag. And then bang, bang, Storm. And then they just kept going. Yeah. Well, interestingly enough, I mean, Melbourne had got out to a reasonable lead until the last 15 minutes when. The Knights struck back with two other, with two more tries, and started looking like they might chase them down. Mm. Yep, their recruitment Melbourne is pretty amazing. I mean, I, I you know, hate it, but um, their recruitment is is exceptional. I mean, Tyron Wishart, Wishart is a sometimes player. Like, sorry, he, he sometimes gets on the park, but he never lets them down when he's there. Yeah, he's an exceptional. But I tell you what, he he really player. was exceptional. The other he was, players. he was very very good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know yeah, for I, sure. I, I and they're missing do. Cam Munster and um, Ryan Pappenhausen. Ryan Pappenhausen. Yeah, Jeez. yeah, they're, they're missing a few. So they yeah, their recruitment's on song. Um, Mind you, the Knights were missing a few as well. I'm probably yeah, bringing the, Kalen, yeah, the main yeah. one. See, I still think the Knights are lacking in the halves. Mm-hmm. Lacking, oh, yeah. lacking speed and creativity. Sure. Well, that's they're actually chasing Ilias. That's not the answer to their problem. So. No, I don't think it is either. But that's. That's they're, where they're going, and I, and they obviously don't think much of Jason ha- Hastings. Well, I'd leave Jackson I'd leave Hastings. Sorry. They've they've got a they've got a young five eight in in reserve grade who is big and quick, and he's just a ball runner. Yeah. The the pro and and if you've got Hastings directing the team around with Ponga and a five eight that runs, mm-hmm. you've you've got you've got something special there. Yeah. But anyway, I'm not in the I'm not in the Knights camp. Mm. Sure. Right. Oh. Blue Bet Stadium. Panthers 32, Manly 22. Oh. You do this every week. You get out to an early lead and then blow it. There is something... Like, this is our biggest loss of the season. <laughs> 10 points. It's... Right. I don't... I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I was watching the game. It was hard. It was physical. Uh, Manly were in it. It was... It was going great. And then... Olegwatu came off. And the attack seemed to splutter. Yep. I personally think we've got a problem with our bench and and impact. So, you know, I've already we said... Off I, look, the bench. Uh, well, in this case, it was uh, Toff Sipley, uh, Waddell, Brown with the three forwards. Mm-hmm. Brown was good. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, he's, he's... I don't mean to be rude, but he's, you know, past, past his best yeah. now. Yeah. I, I don't... It, it, it frustrates me that they don't have any big big boppers on the bench. Yeah. No one to bend the line back. Once once Paseca comes off, uh, and to a lesser extent, um, LOI, it's they they they're replacing with smaller players <coughs> and bigger players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's not and it's we and I know, and I've already said, look, I love Jake and he will make he will tackle till he dies. Yeah, of course he will. But his his line speed in attack Leaves something to be desired. Mm. Yeah. So you can't have Still him out there. Speed. You can't yeah. have him out there um, leading the attack and punching the line back. No. 
And so, so therefore, we need someone to do that. So Manly got out to a 10-0 lead. Yep. Um, and then got <clears throat> dominated by Brian it Toho. It wasn't 10, was it? No, no. No, it wasn't 10. No, in Because we could kick a goal. Exactly. <laughs> and and throw, throw, three throws. So 12. Yeah. Yeah. 12-4. Twelve, Twelve, and, and then Brian Toho just completely tore you apart oh. on that side. D- Dane Laurie well, t- and Toho. Talao scores four yeah. and Brian Toho to- to- scores three. Yep. Um, Tanuva scored two. And Saab scored one. You're like, what a what a wingers game. <laughs> it was. Oh, which 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 makes me think maybe it wasn't the forwards. But in the second half, Penrith dominated. Yeah. They did you know, Penrith do not believe their hype. No. <laughs> they no. came in and they just hurt and hurt and hurt. Yeah. And I was looking at the average set meters and we were you know, 20, 25 metres behind them every set. And yeah. and we talk about players not being in teams, but when you look at who Penrith don't have at the moment, Cleary, Edwards. Yep. I mean, and they're two players that the, most teams would yeah, pay yeah. a million bucks for. Yep. So they're a devastating team without them, yep. let alone bringing them both in back well, in again. They, they were... They're like they Melbourne. They just, they just stick to the plan and they and they grind and grind and grind. And, yep. You know, they were they they were fantastic, and yeah, Toho was, mate. He must have got a boot in his bonnet for for not winning against Queensland, because <laughs> he was he was an angry man. Such a good player. Oh, he was. I, I think, can I just say I think Toho is probably my favourite player outside of outside of you know my yeah, team. Yeah, I hate it when he plays manly. I hate it. <laughs> I remember a couple of years ago we were playing in Mudgee and little little Brian Toho's up against Jason Saab and he was off going oh you know have to teach the young guys, you know, what it's like to be a winger. I'm going, the dude's like four foot taller than him. I don't get it. Oh, he just, he's just, he just kills you us. You can't hate him, can you? You can't hate him. And I, I love him, but geez, I do hate him. Only yeah. once, twice a year. Mm. Uh, Dogs 22, Parramatta Eels 18. Mm. This was a good game. Oh, I like oh, This was a high quality yeah. game. Oh. Yeah. No? You didn't think so? Oh, look, you know, Tom made a comment earlier that Moses has played well and back into the team, back in the Origin team. He was average in the second half. Geez, you're hard. No, 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 no. I'm not hard. Because well, the whole team was pretty average. The dogs. No, 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 no. Parramatta went out to a lead. Yeah. If you've got an Origin halfback in your team, you maintain that lead and you control the yeah. game. That did not happen. That's what scares me about Moses. Mm. He gets into a tight situation and he falls over. Okay, but, but so, hang on. But you've got Orange and players in the in the team opposite you as well in yeah, the yeah. dogs. Yeah, I'm not. Which are just I'm not as saying that. But whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, we're all talking. We're all talking Mitchell Moses up now for state of origin, mm. and and I don't think on that performance against, and this is going to sound really harsh against the dogs. Well, I don't that, think you can say that. Anymore. No, no. But, but, but Mitchell Moses. Think. Let's be fair. Mitchell Moses would have been picked in state of origin. Had he been fit, yeah. you reckon? Above, yeah, yeah in front of no way. Uh, I would have gone Moses. Why for sure? No, I think well, Moses would well, have got it. Moses has been out for seven weeks. He hasn't had a chance to prove to you that in fact he would have had consistent form through those. All weeks. right, but I'll, I'll, I'll take you, that. Stephen Crichton <laughs> is becoming a Jeez. excellent captain. <laughs> remember what a leader. Yeah, incredible. Remember well, about four or five years ago, we were sitting around the table, similar to this. And I said, Stephen Crichton is exceptional. And I think you argued with me, saying, oh, no, he's good in a Penrith team. Yeah, yeah. I've changed my mind. <laughs> oh, good, because he is exceptional. Yeah, yeah. No, he is. I thought he was the best centre in the game four years ago when Tom and Luttrell were in the centres for New South Wales. Mm. That was insane to leave Crichton out. Mm. He is that good. Yeah, he is. All right, anyway. And, and I did like the Parramatta challenge earlier in oh, the yeah, game where they, where they... They, there was a drop oh, out, yeah, but yeah. they actually showed the ref that he dropped the ball first and could claim a, a knock on instead of a seven. So they got the ball. They got the ball. Well, it was a six. They made a six point, tackle set instead of seven tackle yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, first time ever, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, ref, we got it wrong. You yeah. got it wrong. <laughs> so what are we saying about the dogs? Jeez, uh, they're hard. They're hard, aren't they? Well, they are. I don't. I, I, I don't think they're going to be easy to beat. I think their defence has been exceptional. They're still clunky in, in their attack. Yeah. I mean, they scored 22 points, but but I think, you know, they left a couple of tries out there on the field. Well, um, next, it's only Paramount. But next week, yeah. but next week the Dogs will not have Curran or... Um, Crum. Crum. No, no, Curran or Kikau or... Uh, yeah, somebody got... Two Preston's. Uh, so oh, there's, sorry, there's three... Yeah, okay, man. 
and Kurt Mann. There's yeah. there's four of their back rowers gone. Yeah. Like it'll that'll be a test. That's good in yeah. two weeks time. But at least. you know against Parramatta, <laughs> both these teams. Against Parramatta, they also had one in the bin for ten minutes, <laughs> yep. and they lost two players through injury. Yeah. And Parramatta well, well, could score. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm not convinced. Mm. Yeah. That's why I'm not convinced. Anyway. I'd like to know what um, our Parramatta supporters out there are thinking about that game. Mm. Sorry, Janelle and Steve. Sorry to put you on the spot, but seriously, I just want to know. Well, I want to know. He'll post something later. And we ask your opinion. Roosters, Raiders, and, and Dolphins advice. Correct. All right, later, gentlemen. Who's doing it? I'll do it. This week. Not me. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, first and second on equal points, the Storm and the Sharks on 22. Panthers alone on 20, and the Dolphins, 18, make up your four. Also on 18 are the Raiders, with, interestingly, a minus 37 for and against. Um, that's amazing. Uh, the Roosters on 16, Bulldogs on 16, Broncos on 16, Dragons outside the eight on 16. Uh, Warriors and Seagulls uh, on 15. Obviously, they played that draw earlier in the season. Cowboys and the Knights on 14, the Eels and the Titans and the Rabbitohs on 10, who are actually miraculously off the bottom. And uh, with the West Tigers, uh, lucky for the Rabbitohs that the West Tigers are going so bad. And look, we don't, well, the Rabbitohs also don't have the West for and against anymore. Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> hey, one. By one. one. Hey, well done. I said worse. I didn't you say right how it. many. You got to take it. Take what you can get. Oh, so funny. where's, gentlemen... Well I know done. it's early in the season. We're halfway through, roughly. Where's cutoff? No, nah, I can't tell you. Where's top eight cutoff? It's 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 too hard. You, you're looking at that ladder. Well, okay. No, no. no. You, you look at that ladder and really, hand on heart, scroll down, Tom. Sorry. You've got the Knights and the Cowboys are on 14 points. That's one win out of the eight. That's right. Like, it's, it's actually quite sensational. I think it's a matter of form. I don't think... Uh, the Tigers, Rabbitohs, Titans, uh, or Eels have shown enough <coughs> to make the eight. But everyone else, you jag a win, yeah. yeah, you're in. Yeah, it's been like that, hasn't it? Yeah, the Roosters have been up and down, up and down the table. All, even, all even, season. even at the top of the ladder, you've got the Storm and the Sharks, who have both had some pretty average losses. Mm. So I, I, don't, I think, yeah, I think it's really, really hard. I don't think you can. I'm surprised you can the Raiders make are where they are. Given the games I've watched them play in. They've been average, haven't they? <laughs> they have. <laughs> but they get They're minus, minus 37. That's the thing. Yeah. You know? Average but winning. I'd take average but winning over average but not winning any day of the week. But, yeah. but you're right. Because even Penrith have had four losses and we're only halfway through the season. Yeah. And and usually when they know. have three last year all up the whole yeah. season. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. So yeah. it, it's such a hard... So I don't think <clears throat> I don't think we can have a cutoff. <clears throat> like... <throat> like uh, so you're, make, you're saying Tigers can make top eight? No, I'm saying the bottom four teams bottom can't four make teams the take. I, I, I think on form they can. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Steve. And I know. Yeah. Look, the only team, and I must admit, the only team out of those that could have a run at it would be the Rabbitohs. But geez, they'd have to go on some massive oh, winning streak. That, well, it's worked out. They have to win ten of the next thirteen, and that's. Yeah, but see, yeah. hand see, on heart, I'd love it with my heart. There, <laughs> I'd love it, but. It's ten, not see, but ten or thirteen isn't even like that's not undoable. No, ten, no. Ten that's, that's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's. I don't know. I don't know where the cutoff is. Yeah. You know, all it'll take is the Raiders or or, you know, Dolphins who who are not partic- playing particularly great footy. Yeah. To have a couple of losses and, and they're fourth. I yeah. Mean, Dolphins are in fourth. I know, and they're not playing great. It's I don't get it. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, look. Let's go into next week and see how we go. So this will be round fifteen. So we're just over halfway. Uh, Cronulla Sharks and Dolphins on Thursday night. Yeah, Nico Hines is back. Yep. He, he's got to have a big one. Did he get any Deli M points last week? Because everybody's saying he got six points. Yeah, he did. Because <laughs> <laughs> he got six. Because if in doubt, give, give, give Nico Hines six points. Seriously, uh, that's no, ridiculous. Ro- yeah, Royce Hunt's back. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go the um, Sharks. He's been good, isn't he, Royce Hunt? Bit. They've, I've seen this <coughs> a few times. They've got monster, talk, monster power. Talk about... And they're getting fanual, Blake. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, we've got no punch. <laughs> like, you know, our, our, our biggest forward coming off the bench is Toff Sipley, who can't hold onto a ball for some reason. Mm. They've got Royce Hunt, Hemingueli, Tom Hazelton. To oh, Kobe no. Rudolph. Uh, that, that's off the bench. They're starting with Rudolph, Kafusi. Like, they're monsters. I know, I know. And they're getting fanual, Tell- Blake. Yeah. Tal- Tal- Talakai is sitting, sitting in the second row as a monster. Like, yeah. Jack Williams is a big bloke. Oh, man. Yes. 
Yes. All right, sorry. I, I don't uh, <laughs> Apparently, Shots Apparently, up. Royce Hunt is going to be looking around for another club, and South have said they'd like him. But South have also said they'd like Jack DeBellin. Would you like to know who I would prefer out of those two? Hunt. Of course. Yes. Jack DeBellin's 33 years old, and oh. yes, he makes an impact, but I'd he's prefer bad, the bigger guy. Bad Jeez, I don't know. I do. Well, it depends. It, too know, many old people in no, South. No, no, so just... well, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the yeah, no. You're the retirement home. You should change clubs. Um, yeah. It, no, it, it, so it, it depends on, 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 on who you've got coming through. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, me well, personally. You can, you can see who we've got. We've got... Yeah, no one. Come, Kaloa Matangi. You've got... Um, David Moali. David Moali. We've got some good players coming through. Anyway. anyway. Oh, you know what I do want to say? I'm so disappointed. Mm-hmm. Black Taff is playing reserve grade with a... Bulldogs at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> be Come back to the base. I've actually forgotten about him, to be honest, which is a shame. Anyway, Sharks and um, Dolphins. Yeah, Sharks. Sharks? 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 Okay. I'm going Sharks as well. Uh, maybe. Let me think about that one. On the mm. fence. Uh, Raiders and North Queensland at oh. GIO Stadium. Now, they'll potentially have full squads this week, won't they? And then they yeah. get picked for Origin next week. That's right. They? Yeah. yeah. Um, so oh. they'll be in this week, they'll be out the week after. I'm I'm uh I'm still gonna go the Raiders in Canberra. Being home. Yeah, and I think um oh jeez, I, I think after a week off, they're gonna be fresh. Yeah. Ready to go, fired up. Fired up. And, fired and, up. and of course according to Ricky, they've got no origin stars and if we had oranges and stars we could compete like them too. <laughs> <laughs> Just Tom? Points. Yeah, look. Raiders? I hate tipping Ricky's team. Um <clears throat> This is why I'm not tipping next year. I'm not going to tip who I think is going to win. I'm going to tip who I'd like to win. That's what I always do. <laughs> it works just as well. Yeah, yeah don't worry. Either uh, way, I'm down the bottom. Cows. The I'll go cows. cows. You're going cows. Yeah, right. I'm going Raiders. Uh, bunnies and Broncos in Sydney. Mm. I'll be there cheering. <clears throat> so is Reese Reese Walsh no, back? No, he's out. No. Still out. That stuff's up my super coach team, just so you know. Oh, mine's really, gone. Really royal I'm stuff's up. up. On it. Stephen, I'm giving you one chance. To do what? For your team to win, why? What do I get out of it if nothing, they win? Nothing. I'm giving well, you one what, chance. What do you want to do? I want to tip your team again. I'm happy for you not again. to tip them again. It's no problem for me. I'm going to go the Bronx. Hateful, aren't you? No. Oh, so you don't care if I dip you, and he's hateful if he did. Well, you're hateful team. anyway. But oh, well, oh, look, it, it, I must admit, I I am on the fence, but. Who we didn't mention? For, who we didn't mention for State of Origin too is Katoni Staggs. I think he's been playing. He's got an injury. Yeah, he's still playing. I think he's playing yeah. well. They've just got too much pace. Cam Murray's Steve. on the bench, by the way. Too, yeah, too much pace, Steve. Too much pace. Yeah, I know. I think that's, <laughs> that's, a that's the yeah. only the only thing they got. They got speed to burn. Well, Latrell yeah. needs a blinder. Yeah, oh, no, I think I think Latrell's done enough for State of Origin. Okay, I'm on the bunnies though, of course. Uh, Tigers and Titans. Titans. Titans are still good enough. To, to win to win these kind of games, I think. You you gotta you gotta worry when um Appy's gotta play halfback. Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, he's he's taking one for the team there, I tell you. And you've got an unhappy Galvin. What do you think of Galvin? Time. I wanted to ask you that. Oh. What do you think of Galvin wanting a, a release? Well, he hasn't done much in the game. I mean yes he's well, got he real hasn't. talent. He's got he's got talent. But he, you know, there's a lot of noise about around him, and he hasn't done much. I think, th- I, honestly, I think this is just his manager trying to yeah. get more money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, and there are some player managers. Who, Don't mention names. No, I'm not mentioning names. There are some player managers who are just, they're just, they just try and squeeze it. Yeah. And um, I think I think uh, Galvin's probably been led astray. And and I think. My understanding is they will give him an increase, but he's got to he's got to come up with it. He's got to accept a longer term, right. which I think is fair. You want an increase? Why should we give an increase on the contract we've already got now? Unless Rich, you're going to give us something. In Richardson's return. playing very hard ball. Yeah, and so he should. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of these clubs should. Oh, I think it's too well, much. If, imagine, imagine if Richardson was there. They'd, they'd still have Teddy. They'd have Mitch Moses. They'd yeah. have a great team. No, no. Um, oh, anyway, in answer to your question. Uh, if he comes to Manly, I'd be happy. If not, let him stay at the Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, oh, anyway, this Titans, game. Titans. Uh, Titans, yeah. yeah, Titans? yeah Titans. Titans. Titans, yeah, okay. Uh, Warriors in Melbourne. This should be a good one. In yes, New Zealand. This should be a good game. Sean Johnson's back. 
I rate I rate the Warriors a chance. Yeah, I'm I'm going the Warriors. Yeah, in an upset. Yeah, or I don't know whether it is an upset. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't, yeah, no, no, it I, is an upset. Storm are leading the comp. It's an upset. I'm going for an upset. I, I'm leaning the, that way as well, being in New Zealand. Eels and the Roosters. Oh, Roger might make a comeback too. Well, the, um, the Roosters had a, mid, uh, a mid-season a mid conference on Monday, which, of course, we know Brandon Smith yeah. missed. And so um, I think the team got to see Robbo's angry. And uh, and Luke Keery said today that, um, yeah, they had some serious talk. He said... They had one eye on the bye last week yeah. when they were um, when they were playing the Cowboys. He's been um, dropped, by the way. Who? Brandon Smith. Yeah, Brandon Smith. Yeah, yeah. But Connor Watson's back. Yeah. He's been sensational for us. So look, I, I'm confident the Roosters can win this. I'm going to go. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to go the Roosters too. It's a tale of who who do, who cares really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I'm going Roosters, but you know I wouldn't be surprised to see Parramatta change it up again from last week, but. Sea Eagles and Dragons. Oh, it's a tough game, but it's at home. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is at home. I'm going Manly. Yeah, I think it's not going to be easy. Oh. It's not going to be an easy game, but I think I'll go Manly. Steve, yeah, yes. no, go on. Who are you going? Manly. Okay. So tell me about, uh, what do you think about the trip by Alloy? I would have got him out of the game. For at least two weeks? At least. So tell me why that is different. To three weeks ago when Teddy stuck out his leg and tripped someone. Okay, all right. Let me. Tell oh, you. I, I am no, curious. No, no, okay. I want to. I want to know from you, Steve, uh, as an unbiased person. It's not. <laughs> it's not, is it? Right. It, okay. It's, it's I really thought it might not. have been. <laughs> Except to say, I'm trying to think. The the player that Alloy tried to trip. Did he have the ball? Or was he trying to trip a player without the ball? Oh, I think he think? was. Look, I don't know whether he was trying to trip him, catch him, knock him over, stop him. Yeah, I don't know I'm what he was doing. Probably doesn't make any difference, doesn't he? Yeah. Tripping him from behind. I'm, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm over this tripping thing. If yeah. you trip, you're two weeks out. Agreed. Three weeks out. I don't care what it Thank is. Thank you, Steve. And I don't care if you break the guy's leg or not. If you intentionally trip someone, you are sit out. out for two well, that's weeks. Teddy didn't intentionally trip. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> yes, he did. He stuck his leg out to stop him. Yeah. Uh, I, I just think it's it's crept into the game, and that was and that was probably the stupidest trip I've ever seen. Well, maybe that's the next big thing to be policed. It should be. By the way, I also would have penalised Cherry Evans for taking two kicks for goal, or two kicks for the line, 15 metres in front of where the ref kept saying, that's the mark there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what... Like, somebody asked me about that, and I went, I don't know. Like, that's, well, I've never seen anything like that happen. I, I get the first time. No, no, no. But, but, but you, you've, seen, you've seen how many times players run past the ref 10 metres and kick the ball. Yeah. It's nearly every play. I don't. Like, what did he? What's, yeah, he, what's, they, what's they this? What's the, the difference with this one? Right. <laughs> except, yeah. except when it's to play the ball, they say, "Oh no, move back six inches." <laughs> but they let him <laughs> take a kick ten meters over the mark. I oh, know. I get yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Anyway, sorry. Uh, so, sea eagles. For sea me. eagles for me. Yeah. And knights and panthers. Oh man, why yeah. isn't Armstrong back in the team? Seriously, my super coach team Anderson, is dying. Anderson. Anderson. Oh, Anderson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who did I say? Armstrong. Armstrong. Anderson. I look the Panthers. You got to go the Panthers. Yeah. How can you? How could you possibly not go the Panthers? Mm. Yeah. And you're oh, going seriously. I'm Bradman, going Panthers. Bradman, best. But I, yeah. but I tell you what, I think it'll be a lot closer than just an easy walkover. Mm. No, no. There's there's no such thing as an easy game with Penrith. We all know that. Mm. No, no. I mean, I, I don't think Penrith are going to win by a lot. I think it's well, going to be closer than what. Your, your you definition of a lot and mine are very different. That's true, too. That's because I live in the real world and you're somewhere well, in Well, I think, I think in our current game with the six agains, I think two tries is not a lot. You can score two tries in three minutes. Mm. So I don't think two tries is a lot. Dogs have a bye. Dogs have a bye. Right. Just freshen up so they can play us. Good. Right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> what do you got, Steve? No. Anything intelligent, Dad? No. Oh. Tom? <laughs> uh, never. <laughs> right. Jeez. Well, thanks for uh, watching tonight's show. It's been fantastic. Uh, glad I could uh, uh, finally arrive turn here. Up. And yeah. <laughs> turn yeah. up. Tom's always late. We always stay late for Tom. Did you leave your phone at home? <laughs> no. Were I you were having breakfast with you with your girlfriend. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> breakfast at six o'clock. Well, that o'clock. was Brandon Smith. Don't say that. Kate might be watching. That's his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, that, oh, oh, of course. Oh, yeah. the other of one. Of course. I thought you were talking about the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything about that, okay? Uh, Good on you. All right.
Go Sign off, go on. Go on. Go, it off. No, that's it. That's all. I've said it all. Keep keep you watching made, on Facebook, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, from the sidelines, Spotify. Spotify. Go and go and smash it. Tell all your friends. We're awesome. The more people we have listening, the better and funnier we'll be. Good Love you all. Yeah. See you later. Bye bye.